Hey guys, welcome back to another authentication tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we will be creating a user profile on this registration page. And then we will be, after creating this account, we're going to complete a, pro, a user profile. This is a, a gym app and we want a user to add their avatar, give us their full name and their age. So in order to do this, we're going to first create the user record on this page and then we're going to send them to a secondary page where they're going to enter that information as well. So after creating their account, they'll go to this complete profile and they can uh, upload their avatar. Uh, you, can, you can't do this in Flutterflow and Run Mode, but you can download your code and do it in Emulator and it should pop up here. And then uh, they can signify what their first name is or their full name is and their age. And they can also skip this step and uh, we won't pass that data. But if they fill this information in and press continue, uh, it'll be filled. And if you go to your profile page, you should be able to see it right here. So I hope this tutorial is helpful and thank you for watching. What we would like to do here is create a profile from our login page. So, and then we also want to add content or add parameters to our profile page. So in our traditional authentication flow for creating an account, we need to create the record and this provides us, this allows us to register email and password for the user um, and create the account. But you may want other information from a user such as a full name, uh, avatar, um, their age, their occupation, their position, um, stuff of such nature. So what we're going to do is actually um, send this page, this create account page, to a complete profile page. And then on this complete profile page, we're actually going to fill in this information. Um, in our run mode, we actually don't provide for photo upload, but we will just mimic the fact um, in the app we do want their image. Uh, and then we're going to take their name and their age uh, in this demo. But I just wanted to show you how you can go from a create account page to a complete profile page and then pass this data to your profile page um, where it actually displays here. So on your account creation page, um, on your action, so first you're gonna have action one, which is the authentication and create account. Um, and you want this so that your record is created. And then on action two, you wanna navigate to your complete profile page and as we go to our complete profile page, um, you want to have the data here and then on your action. So we have two actions. We have a skip for now, which will just continue to the next page. And we have a continue with an action to update a record as our action one. And our action two is navigate to scheduling page, which is the home page. So I'm just going to actually delete this action one and action two and then do them over again so that you can see how I do it. On our action one, we want to uh, create a backend call. Then we would like to update a record. We've already created it. Uh, our source will be our user record from button. Um, and as you can see, we have a document reference on this button. We are documenting the user, uh, the authenticated user, and then we're using our user record. So this allows us to pass those parameters through. So let's continue on this. So we're grabbing our user record from our button and then the available options is a reference. And then from this reference, we can actually set fields. Cool. Um, so we want to select our reference and then what field we want to pass through. So this is an email. We already have their email. We already have their password. So we want to pass through their display name, which is going to be their full name. Uh, and we want to select the value sources from variable, change this to widget state, and the available option will be full name. Okay, cool. So that's going to pass through the full name. Let's do uh, age. 
user age. It's not going to be a specific value. It's going to be from a variable. And then again, a widget state. And this widget state will be the your age field. And then lastly, let's go ahead and add this uh, user avatar in here. Photo URL from variable. Now we actually want to do uploaded video or photo. Cool. This is going to give us that action. Okay, now we have to set up our secondary action uh, for this. And so we'll tap continue and we have our backend call, our user record. Now what we need is that secondary action where we actually navigate to the scheduling page. So select it, navigate to and scheduling or whatever page you're gonna land on. And make sure that's action number two. Cool, now we can run it. Okay, here is our uh, login page. We've ran the app and we can now attempt to create an account. Let's go ahead and do that. Andrew File. Okay, and then let's create an account. Perfect, we get our complete profile page. We can't upload images, but we can enter our name. Andreas uh, Randolph. And then I'm gonna be 62 and I'm going to continue. Awesome, we entered our My Sessions and we can search for classes. We can go home, Andreas Randolph. 62 and my email and that is how you pass data after creating an account to your profile